main event against a striker with a big name. This yeah. has got to be feeling good for this one. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good fight. You know, Wonder Boy, uh, we all know, hell of a striker. The only way to go is for it. So, yeah. Is this what you're sort of looking for at this point? Just like, hey, I want fun fights that I know can entertain the fans, and I just want to focus on what I'm good at in striking and try and avoid the whole wrestling thing. Honestly, right now, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm just looking to finish getting paid and uh, see what happens next, you know, to be honest with you guys. How, uh, how serious was the retirement thing? And oh, it was serious as hell. I mean, uh, it's super serious, and uh, it's still on the table. And it's like, if I, if I wake up Sunday morning after beating Wonder Boy, and you guys have Chamaya fighting for a 185-pound world title when he's never won a fight at 85 in the top 15, I'm retired. You know, it's like, I understand business is business, but favoritism is favoritism, you know? Uh, the kid missed weight. I had to step up to fight him after he missed weight and make the fight happen. I shouldn't have had to do that, but I did what I had to do. I did what I was supposed to do for a company man. So I'm sitting here telling you guys now, certain things have to go certain ways. If they don't go certain ways, if we don't get what we were promised, if things that we talked about aren't honored, yeah, you might as well just go ahead and give me my resignation papers and let me go home and fucking smoke weed and play video games for the rest of my life. Open up a Twitch, see how I do. When you say things were promised, so that was like during the negotiations for you to fight that Saturday? Or? I said what I said, and you know what I mean. Is it just about him in particular, or is it just sometimes just, in the sport you see guys getting opportunities that aren't necessarily fair? Just in the sport. Like, you know, it's like, uh, I remember when you guys remember I was bitching about the video game about uh, a couple years back, right? I got, a, I got told, I don't make those decisions. It sounds good, but, you know, who the fuck makes those decisions then? If I wake up the next day, and this guy who's been in the organization for a very short amount of times in the video game, at the time it, it meant a lot to me. Now I really don't give a fuck, you know? Uh, same thing, you got a 17-year-old kid, you guys thought his clout was amazing, you thought his story was wonderful, you put him in the game before he even got a UFC fight. Same with Bo Nickel. It's just certain things that just don't make sense. At the end of the day, if we're here, and we're here to be fair, and we're here to be even, everybody should have a fair chance. We're fighters, we fight for what we want. We should all be able to fight for what we want, we should all be able to get the same things if we're all fighting the same way. That's just how I feel. But I'm not here to bitch, I'm not here to complain. I'm just here to do what I feel like is right, and if I feel like something's not right, I will move the fuck around, because that's what I do. It, and it's an interesting thing to discuss. I'm curious, was this something that you always felt and you were just like, no, yeah. or is it that last fight kind of put things into perspective, like that I mean, people get favoritism here? I've always felt like this, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do as a company man. But, but that being said, you can only work for somewhere for so long before you start to feel some type of way. And I always feel some type of way, I just keep my mouth shut. I think I work for a wonderful company. I think they're a fantastic company. I just think that sometimes things get done, probably not intentionally, just probably because it makes sense business-wise. But then for us fighters who are a part of the business, we get stooped on, we get fucked, and we tend to feel like, God damn, why did we get done like that? So maybe I'm just finally feeling like, why did I get done like that? Uh -huh. But that being said, I'm not fucking complaining. I love where I fight. I love how much money I make. I love how often they let me fight. I don't have any true complaints. I just don't think that if I'm putting in this work and the next guy's not, he should get more than me. Mm -hmm. So with that said, Saturday, it's just, at the moment, are you just kind of like, I'll take it as it comes. Like, if they offer me a fight and I like that fight, I might take it. If not, is it just you have no real plan at the moment or you're just sort of, sort of seeing how it goes? Yeah, no plan. I used, to, you know, I used to be a decent planner. You know, I used to like to plan a few things, be strategic if you must say so yourself. But uh, no, now I'm at the point in time where I'm just kind of like, you know, whatever comes, comes. And if nothing comes, I'll sit at home, play video games and smoke weed. <laughs>